What is SIMP and what problem is it solving? So SIMP is a collection of open source projects and um, automation technologies uh, that were put together to try to help solve the problem of operational compliance. So it wasn't just telling you your system was wrong. It was actually helping you make your system right and keep it right over time. Okay. And how does it do that? So the, um, the automation software we chose was Puppet, um, which is an open source project from Mountain Oregon somewhere. You might know it. And, yes, I uh, and um, basically, uh, we took the Puppet, um, the Puppet framework. We uh, created a collection of modules, tests, artifacts, and um, uh, other and documentation to really lock down Red Hat and CentOS systems for now and keep basically keep the configurations of those systems consistent and compliant over time uh, with one of many uh, different uh, regulatory bodies. So we uh, primarily focus on the federal systems. Um, the project was open sourced out of the National Security Agency uh, for the benefit of everyone. And um, basically the idea is that you can go out and be compliant with the NIST 853 regulations, the different uh, DISA regulations, and we came out and wanted to add on the commercial regulations since it really should be handled under the same automation infrastructure. So what does it mean to be compliant, though? I mean, uh, is there a set of, like, uh, this software has to have uh, up-to-date to software and, and maybe there has to be password locks on things? I mean, I don't. this is all new to me and probably new to our audience, so can you get, give us a little bit more about what that means? Absolutely. Um, so uh, from a federal point of view, there's something called the SCAP, uh, SCAP which is the Secure Content Automation Protocol. Um, and there's something called the SCAP Security Guides, which basically tell you specifically how you should be configuring your system uh, to meet these different regulatory bodies. Um, they came from the point of view of a validation uh, segment, and we wanted to make sure that those could be applied flexibly on your systems. So. You are correct in saying that it might say you can only log in, say, five times in a row with a bad password. Um, so we want to make sure that that works, but we also want to make sure that that works across uh, an LDAP connection or an Active Directory connection or a free IPA connection. Um, so it works across your entire environment consistently and in a way that um, if your system is modified incorrectly, it actually changes itself back to be correct. Wow, that sounds uh, really cool. So, how did how did this come? You said it uh, came out of a open source project uh, that originally started in the NSA. Yeah, this is something I actually didn't know from reading your documentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's correct. Um, so, the the project was originally open sourced by the NSA, and it actually is on their NSA's GitHub page. So, if you go to github.com slash national security agency slash um, you can find the the core foundation from a government point of view there, and um, they were gracious enough to release it publicly, and we became the official, Onyx Point became the official open source stewards of the project.